Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, my name is Awon Kenet and this is my YouTube channel basically. So welcome to my journey and always remember to turn on your notification button or notification bell and let's get into it. I'm currently back in Jos Plateau State, Nigeria, you know, just for specific purposes that's why I'm putting it out there in full. So I came back from where? <laughs> I didn't come back from London, but London kind of like, if it rhymes with Lagos, then yes. So I came back from Lagos, I spent three months in Lagos. Basically, I ran away, I ran away from Lagos and I'm back here in my bay city, where my, where my father has a house, <laughs> you know, in Joss. I'm gonna give the history of why I left Joss to Lagos, so you can understand the context in which, or the reasons why I basically left Lagos. In Joss, um, I'm a blogger, vlogger, digital marketer, digital monetization expert, um, so I do things like WordPress, beauty websites, search engine optimization, AdWords campaign, do YouTube video ads on AdWords, do search engine ads on AdWords, Google Analytics, Data Studio, um, what again, I volunteer for some agencies, Junior Achievement Nigeria, um, Peace Building, um, Bricks, and Hub, you name it. So I do a lot of stuff here in JOS, which is a lot. And yeah, it was basically chill, I'm still trying to like get my YouTube channel to grow with the experimentations I'm running and have some couple of apps on Play Store, you know, and trying to like build a brand. But it looks like I'm gonna be a trader <laughs> coming soon if my dad's plan goes according to plan. So yeah, that was like just for me and some, I think early this year I saw some jobs notifications on the social media on the internet and i was like wow so what really what really happened was that there was a particular week where all my favorite people and brands were like looking for new hires so including Digma Ume, she was looking for like that's the time she was looking for a new person to work with and i was like damn but well, she really wanted someone based in lagos and at that time i was still in Joss, and i was like okay you know what Nah, it's very good, I shared it. Then, Bella and Jason came up and they were like, they're looking for new hires and basically interns and I was like, okay, let's just try. So, let's, why I said let's just try in my mind was basically, I don't have a university degree. That's why for me it feels like I really got into Bella and Ninja and the whole process was just, I felt lucky basically. So I don't have a university degree but I have been to university so, I had like two more years to finish the course I was studying in university, but I just left. I literally left, <laughs> right? I did. I left. <laughs> I just left, guys. So that was it. The yeah, I was studying engineering, electrical engineering, and that was. A, I wanted computer science, but they gave me this is Nigeria. I don't get what you want most of the times. So I got electrical engineering and I had to be content with that. But yeah, I got somewhere, I was fed up and I was like, okay, you know what? Nah. Because I was not thinking of so many things and I was like, this is not what it's. I know I'm sounding kind of like, <laughs> this boy needs beating on slap right now. <laughs> you know, he's very watching this. But to be honest, that's how I felt. Like, it wasn't working in my with my ideas. I wasn't... Like the whole system, the whole everything, everything was just not for me, basically. I don't want to downgrade or, the, um, I don't know, dismiss the opportunity. That's why I'm being careful here explaining it. So that was the whole university phase. Don't worry, I'll talk in length about the whole university blah blah in a new video. So with that said, then I applied, I sent my CV and everything. So I have do I've done this work for US um, USAID or USAID sponsored the project I worked on. The, that's my CV too. So when I applied, I was like, okay, maybe they will see this one and they'll be like, oh yeah, this boy has like done some stuff in his life <laughs> and overlooked the university part. So after some weeks, I got a mail that, oh, you can come down to Lagos. I was ecstatic. I basically just came home one day and I was like, mom, I got a job and I'm leaving tomorrow. <laughs> 
And that was that. So the cool three months in Lagos was very, very fun. I mean, you get to go to events, you get to go to luxurious restaurants like Circa and Lekki. And yeah, that, that was everything. But after three months of the internship, I was like, okay, what's next for me? And for me, what was next for me was come back to Jaws and leave Lagos. Why? Because Lagos is a whole lot of stress. I feel like people always mention um, the fact that there are tons and tons and basically trillions of opportunities in Lagos, but they don't always mention the other fact. Opportunity comes at a cost, right? So if you're saying, okay, Lagos is giving this opportunity and you're earning, let's say, hmm, 500k per month, which is fair, it's actually very good salary that's roughly let's say let's say two thousand two thousand five dollars per month right which is good but then your rent is high because you're a family person and you have to live on the island some jobs actually require that you stay on the island if you don't stay on the island you do not get the job you pay a very huge amount of money for rent then you have to pay school fees on the island which is a whole different thing you have to also pay light light bill there is just not it's actually fair when you don't okay you only on light bulbs in your house and use your iron once in a while because you're going to okay on light bulbs on security light bulbs i'm just about light bulb for now uh, iron once in a while your fridge is always on you have one ac or you have three acs in the house but one is always constantly on because you cannot survive without AC or fan, right? Light bill will be like 5,000 every three days and it's just be finishing. And before you know, you're spending a very ridiculous amount of money on light. Then food is a whole different thing. If you're buying fresh food, that means your fridge has to be on two for seven because you can't keep it outside. If you keep it outside, the humidity and the heat and everything will just damage the whole produce. So that is Lagos for you. Then again, water is terrible on the island. It's actually terrible in the whole of Lagos because Lagos is an island or what I call it, recovered land from the lagoon, right? But on the mainland is a lot cleaner. But on the island, it's just horrible. It's brown, they are warm. They are, I think they said they are metal particles in the water or something. I don't know what. That water is just dead. So you have to buy maybe sachet water. We call them pure water here. To cook with, then drink bottled water. Because I wouldn't recommend you drink sachet water <laughs> if, you, if you like your life. So even the bottled water too has question mark, but don't go. You don't kill yourself entirely, right? You don't die of thirst. So you have to do something. So yeah, that's it. Then again, things are just expensive in terms of transport. You haven't bought new clothes. You haven't talked about medical bills, which is just something I'm really grateful I didn't really experience well in Lagos. I don't know if you've seen my malaria video, which is somewhere up here. And yeah, you get that a whole different gist. So these are like the things I, I know I'd run, it looks random right now. Me just mentioning a bunch of, a bunch of stuff. So my case for the fact that people don't make use or notify um, So my case for opportunity cost is this Yeah, you have the opportunity, right? But at what cost is it? Um, are you getting the opportunity for? Can you get the same opportunity with lesser opportunity cost somewhere else? These are things that people do not uh, um, Let's like see Put in mind, right? When th when taking opportunities or when thinking about opportunities, that's why I have tons and tons of people who are not really meant to be in Lagos struggling in Lagos. Like that is a is a very very small city, and Microsoft is coming. I don't know why they are coming to Lagos. They should look for a different town. You are building a development center. You should look for somewhere like Joss, for instance, which is very quiet, calm, tons of space, right? So. Brands and multinationals just keep on diving head first into Lagos and your brand or the multinational company that wants to come to Lagos might not necessarily be an import exporting company in terms of like seaports. It might just be import exporting in terms of like digital products, right? So that means your headquarters can be based somewhere else. It must not be at the seaports in Lagos. What really brought my decision 
to like okay you know what just leave Lagos for some while and get back to the Joss was that one I wanted to like study some stuff some other ideas that I've been running in my head I felt like we experiment them well in a place that is much calmer leaving my father's house my father's was a very light view and all that kind of stuff free food you know uh, yeah so yeah freebies so it's very comfortable for me right now then you, you, you save you save a lot like for me I save a lot here in Jaws and Lagos I don't save a lot because they are just things that collect your money I remember one day I woke up in the morning and I spent like 5k and it was just like food I remember when I mistakenly bought Kiwi Sweet Kiwi is like a froyo um, shop in Lekki and they have this surface of mechanism in their stores and it's not really it's actually a scam to be honest because it's not really specific so that's how I ended up buying frozen yogurts for 5,000 naira. 5,000 naira, guys. Uncalled for. Actually, the product is actually very good, but nah, wrong, wrong model. So yeah, but you always have to take Uber because if you, <laughs> if you want to save money, you have to take downfall, but you can always take downfall to some places, right? So you have to take Uber. Like for example, if you're taking a downfall into Lekki, you have to stop at the main gate, then either take a bike or a white bus to the person street. Then you stop at the person street gate, then you have to like trek all the whole way. So if you're in a in a hurry or something, best just take an Uber and sometimes Uber exp Uber are expensive based on salary, salary end. So if you're earning like hundred thousand naira and you're taking Uber every day, are you, are you well? Is everything alright? So these are like the things, and again, Lagos is just like Las Vegas. There are a lot of attractive lights, so you're always on the need to spend money because you always want to like test something new, test something new, test this thing that's different, that kind of stuff. There are tons of events coming up every day, so you always want to go to these free events. But you're neglecting the fact that you're also paying transport to that event. Like the time I went to the British consulate, I took an Uber. Uber to and fro just to that event alone was just like five thousand there. You get so that's the whole that's the whole lot of things that needs to be calculated. And yeah, there are tons of opportunity in Lagos, but I will always argue for the fact that have your opportunity cost by your side when you make your decisions because you could either do this come down to a low a different town that it's, the standard of living is much more lower figure out your plan what you want to do in life basically like have a plan which is not easy to be honest it's not really easy but have a plan like you're going somewhere then save a lot of money then when you have a lot of money saved up you can now go to Lagos and experiment and when you get to Lagos do not just go there and rest. You have to actually work hard. Because another thing again in Lagos is that everybody's money focused. Money focused which is which which is good, but it's too much because um, you don't see a lot of innovative discussions happening in Lagos. Everything is always tied to as one repaying a certain debt that you owe, that kind of stuff. So people are always out to cheat you, but they don't really call it cheat is it's business. Basically, yeah, they call, it, they call it business in Lagos. So these are like the whole things. You don't have real friends because your real friend, your friends in Lagos are always be based on money, how much you spend. So your friends always want to go to Domino's and you're not, for, you're not um, able to spend or you have self-control and you're telling yourself not to spend that much. They'll be like, okay, this guy, we just keep on the side. Like, he's not part of our crew, that kind of stuff. Then uh, someone wants to see you and he's asking you money for Uber. In terms of like dating relationships so you would be like this person is just using me as the next sugar daddy that they want in their life so this is like the random reasons why i left lagos i didn't leave i ran away as on as that's like those are the reasons why i ran away from lagos and to be honest i've gotten some opportunities to go back to lagos but I don't know what I'm thinking about it. I like, I legit just want to like learn programming and everything that comes goes in the way. And again, family, you also have to think about family. So those were some other reasons why I had to say, okay, you know what, just come back. You get. 
So that, that, that was it. I hope this video helps someone and you're able to gain something from it. Bye guys.